Okay, guys, I am back. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff. We got the magic boomerang, which is awesome. And we got the flippers, which are kind of cool. They're neat. They let you swim. They're probably the best exploration item. What are you doing here, Gorman? I'm gonna talk to this carpenter since he obviously wants to fuse kinstone pieces with us, and we actually have the kinstone. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen with Bremer. So it's like Tremor. It sounds like what happens every time he takes a step. Muto. Feeling really motivated now. I could probably build a good sized house in a matter of minutes. Perfect fit. I can't wait to see what happens now. Let's go talk to Muto then. <laughs> well, that was a lark, and I suppose it did have punch. Surely I'm the only person ever to have spent so little time there. <laughs> what are you talking about, Muto? What? How did you. That's some skill, man! Hi, stranger. And suddenly it's built! Nice house, huh, kid? It's brand spanking new, I tell you, but I just need another tenant. A single one, like before. If you know any nice young ladies that need a home, let me know. Now, he's referring to the number of women, but that could be easily misconstrued. Still can't let me into the class, huh? Fine, meaning. Well, anyway, yes, we do need to get him a single woman. Pervert. The single woman is going to be Ferrore, actually. Sorry, Nehru, you're gonna have to go find us another town to live in. Nehru's charm doubles your defense. Ferrore's charm doubles both, but for a much shorter amount of time than the other two. I prefer having Ferrore's charm just because I can. Please. Now you see... Up there is how you get into the Minish house that used to be where he built. The Minish is perfectly safe. So don't worry about that. We didn't, like, horribly abuse and nearly destroy a Minish. Now to get more Pick-A-White, he won't find it on his own. You have to actually go back to Minish Village, but... It's just Kingstone Fusions, and I've never actually had a use for Pick-A-Lite before. You know what I bet? I bet Shaggy Conroy just loves Din with his red hair, like... Remember how upset he was when he found out Jasmine wasn't a real redhead? <laughs> anyway... Little inside joke for anyone who's, at, who's watched Chugga Conroy's uh, Pokemon Crystal LP. Now we're going to fly back to Lake Hylia. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm a big fat liar. We're going to fly to Mount Krennel. Remember the Krennel Hermit? <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go pay him a visit. I think I'm actually going to cut it off here in editing, and I'm going to see you there, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm there. Oh man, that would've been great to have gotten on camera. Oh hell, I'm gonna leave it in. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, okay, guys, we're back. We're gonna dig into this wall to discover something amazing once we're done. Also, there's probably another mysterious wall here. 
because that's how this stuff goes. Make sure to uncover every single back-facing wall you see. But more importantly, make sure to uncover this and... MURDER MOLDORM! Or whatever these things are. I think they're called Moldorms, but I also think that's actually the name of the boss worm, so... Yeah, I hope they're Moldorms, or else I'm going to be severely embarrassed. By the friend who keeps calling it the Cana Posse slash Poschi. Or more who f f makes that necessary for me to say that every single time I say Posse slash Pachi. Every. Single. Time. That piece of heart wasn't the cool thing, by the way, but we did get another heart container! Just felt like I had to shout that because, you know, it's a heart container, man. Okay, there is a mysterious wall here, and we can fix it! The kid two kids to a piece of fit together perfectly! Next wall looks a little tougher. I don't think we can break it. That doesn't mean we're going to give up, Goro. I thought I smelled a buddy. What are you doing here? Hey, give me a hand breaking through this wall, Goro. Now they double their efforts. Also, I've never actually seen an LP or touch on this before, but Goron, the name, actually originates from uh, the Japanese onomatopoeia Goron Goron, which is the sound of rolling rocks. Which, if you look at Minish Cap, it suddenly makes a ton of sense. And yeah, I don't know what I was doing there, because... Hey, Colonel Hermit. Let's fuse! What? This is where I think it is, I swear, man. Oh no, it's diminished. Path in Hyrule Town. That's in the playground. Okay, that was mostly a waste of time. I thought that the, uh, great butterfly fairy was there, but I guess I was wrong about that. Friend's probably going to tell me what I was doing wrong about that, but that's okay, I actually kind of need to know. So Lake Hylia! Ha! Huh. Hank's magical sort of legend growing. No matter where you swing it, you always ignore the ledges. I'm going to dive in here and get a piece of hearts! Click four to make a new heart container for more life energy! You notice you can't get on the land here. That's because... well, you can't. No, oh, silly bird, leave me alone! in the water with you. You two! Sit in the water. He hats! Matrix dodge! It's like that Mega Man glitch, man. Treasure chest with 50 rupees inside! Now this is the cool thing about the dungeon. The dungeon itself is a Minish portal. You got a piece of heart! Now you have two pieces. Click two more to increase your life energy! Now I'm actually going to shrink myself here. And go for a little Minish swim. 
Straight up here. Into a miniature's home. What is it? What do you want from me? You're after my bean, aren't you? Well, I'll never tell you where it is. It's mine, mine, but I suppose if you confuse a kiss with me, I might tell you. How was it? Did I sound like an elder? I've been practicing my elder ease. <laughs> Huh? Want to choose kinstones? Yeah, alright! Yes! I have the proper blue kinstone! You see, fusing kinstones with minish, especially blue ones, sometimes makes beanstalks grow. Giant beanstalks! We're talking like Jack and the beanstalk. Beanstalks. Freaking huge things, man! Definitely can't get up there as a minish. What are you, man? Crazy? Can't climb that, obviously. Now, there is a minish pipe up here. A little minish tunnel. What am I doing? Get out on, get out on the land, man. Roll up here to see if there's something I can get. Nope. No point in swimming up here. What am I doing? Stop using the moments, man. It's nothing good. Yeah, that kills those guys. And it also tends to hit twice, even if you directly hit someone with the initial throw. Because it pauses for a second if you hold the button down. Those guys just get stunned. Also, you can... Yeah, it's really entertaining. I love this weapon. Sugula's everywhere. Get off the pit! Got a red kinstone piece! I think we're going to have to revisit this place after the Temple of Droplets so we can, um, pick up a... Yeah. Because you see all those lanterns there? If you light them all, I'm pretty sure it opens more treasure chests. That's the wrong way. In order to even get into the Temple of Droplets, you have to be human-sized first, which... begs the question, how did Librari get in there? You have to be human-sized to get up there to use the Minish portal that leads you into the Temple of Droplets. So how did Librari get into the Minish Temple of Droplets? That's all the time we have for this episode, guys! Shut up, Ezlo, I know it's freezing in here. Could turn into a hat sickle! That's all for this episode, guys, and the next episode we're going to do the Temple of Droplets! See you then!